Hi students, welcome to new video lines four, projection of lines four. Here we are going to learn how to find out true length theta phi ht and vt of a line when the final projections are given. We are exactly going back. We know how to draw the projections when true length theta phi and location of an end are given. Here you will be given the final projections. You will be asked to go back and find out true length theta phi ht and v. I have given a typical question. This is the abstract of the question. A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. B is 60 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of VP. Their projectors, projectors of A and B are 50 mm apart. I don't write unit because the engineers use only millimeters unless specified unless specified 50 mm you are asked to draw the projections and find out total length theta phi h t and v a line like this indicates draw the projections and below that i will write what you have to be determined okay let's draw draw an xy line locate a dash and a a dash 10 mm above HP and A 20 mm in front of VP, I mean below XY. I am not dimensioning now, a dimensioning will be done at the very end. Allocated A dash A, then 50 mm away from this projector, draw another projector. On that projector, 60 mm above, locate B dash and 45 mm in front, below, locate B. Connect them. Connect A dash and B dash and also A. For the convenience, I am writing down the dimension now. Not in the correct manner, but for your reference. This is 50, this is 60, and this is 45. I think it's clear. Now, you know that there is a line through B dash. What is that line called? The line is called locus of B in elevation. Draw that. Locus of B in elevation. You also know that there is a line through B. What is it called? Locus of B in plan. Agree? Now, I am going to make the plan of this line AB. I am going to make the plan parallel to XY line. How do I do it? Draw a horizontal line at A, take AB in your compass and draw an arc. You know it is equal to B1. Recall what we have learned yesterday in the previous, previous uh, lines too. B1. How is the plan now? Plan is parallel to XY. What does it mean? The actual line is parallel to VP. Isn't it? Project B1 to XY. I am renaming this. Project B1 to XY. What do you get? You get B1 dash. You get A dash B1 dash is true name. Connect them. What is this angle? This angle is theta and this is true name. What do you find out? You found out true length and the theta. Answer. Now what do you have to do? Make the elevation parallel to XY. Elevation is A dash B dash. What is it? It is B2 dash. I hope you remember. Drop B2 dash down. B2. What is AB2? AB2 is true length and this angle is phi. Agreed? So you can give phi as another answer. Now, you have to find the traces. What is the method to find the traces? Extend the elevation if necessary. What is the elevation? Elevation is A dash B dash. What do you get? You get H. Drop a vertical to H. Extend the plan. Plan is A B. H T. Extend the plan further. It means X Y to V. Drop a vertical through V and extend the elevation.
You have located the traces. What do you write? We will measure this distance and say Vt is such and such distance below Xt. Measure this distance and say Ht is such and such distance in front of you. When you draw this to dimension, there is a small possibility that it changes some other the orientation may slightly change. I am not following dimensions, I am only giving you the concepts. So the approximate uh, proportion dimension I am adopting. So it may slightly change sometimes. This is Ht. This is for variety, I am putting those small circuits there. This method of drawing, so you have got all the five values. This method of drawing is called a line rotation. Or rather, exactly reverse of what we have learned. There is another method to draw this by virtue of its the geometrical properties. It is called a trapezoidal construction. It is also called a plane rotation method. We will draw that in the next video. Thank you.